Hello everyone, welcome to Nelson J. And as you know, we are rebranding to Tech Likita. So, uh, in this episode, we are going to look at registering a candidate on the NECO uh, offline system. So, uh, after you have logged into your system, you just that just happened once. But then you would have to start registration. If you want to register a candidate, all you have to do is to click add new candidate or you go to registration pen and you have the add button here. So uh, for a start, this is what we see is your candidate in Nigerian. This is the standard form. Is your candidate in Nigerian? Victoria, Guinea, uh, Togo, Niger, Benin, Gabon, Cote d'Ivoire, and I think these are locations where you have the national examination centers. Then, <clears throat> what quota? Purchase quota is the ones that the uh, students will buy by themselves. The self sponsored. Uh, the purchase quota is the one the schools use. The self-sponsored is the one the students uh, purchase on their own. Then the government-sponsored is the one that the government pays for it. What is the implication of selecting this? If a student, if the school went to a NECO office and paid for a candidate, and the candidate has been selected on the wrong quota, then during the upload, the name of the candidate will not appear. Then, if the school, if the student paid for it, but you selected the purchase quota, and the record has been found under the sponsored quota, that student name will not appear. So also it goes with the government sponsored. So, <clears throat> the government sponsored, the government pays for the student, and uh, there is possibility of a school having all three categories in the same year. So I'll use the government sponsored since for this year we are going to use the government sponsored for my state. Then you would enter the 11 digit uh, name number for a start. Then we go to uh, the country of examination is different from nationality. You can enter your nationality if you are not in Nigeria. Then um, the student surname. Um, then the first name. I remember that NECO doesn't allow abbreviation like if I decide to put J it won't accept if I start to put a single alphabet it won't accept so it has to be more than one that is the NECO standard if your name is having an initial please what's the meaning of the initial always ask to get that so don't register a student with an incomplete information so as you can see phone number is not required like in the white uh, and then we go to the states i would select my states and then the local government uh, for the middle name i'll just go with uh, this so date of birth the maximum date of birth should be 25 should be 25 as you can see 1998 1998 that is the maximum date of birth uh, uh, <coughs> required by NECO so if you are both if you are born after 1998 you are not supposed to write the NECO SSC examination and that is for a quick note and then 
the disability always make sure you check that so subjects must be nine and you must enter their ca on the go then if the student is a science student you would go with biology chemistry physics if the student is not you would uh, go with uh, remember the subjects are of categories these are for sciences and then the technologies <coughs> these are for technical students then humanities for art students commercial students and others uh, <coughs> uh, we can go with uh, the so every student must have a third subject so you have uh, business studies humanities sciences but each student must select at least one third subject and for my local government we go with marketing so you would have to scroll left right to be able to find this i go with marketing as expected save this now for the picture you must have a picture 15 kilobytes or whatever the software the software would uh, fix whatever size issues on its own so i'll just save this but make sure so now we have our new candidate so that means if i come back to registration my dashboard i have john doe first name uh, order name and then it creates a unique code for each student biometric uh, incomplete status because the biometric is not captured incomplete because it's not uploaded so pending biometric incomplete this is what you see on your dashboard you can go new students or you can registration at student so this is what is supposed to pop up if i add student it goes then Biometric capture John Doe is ready and ready to capture 10 fingers. So, this is how things go on the NACO 2024 system. So, that's it. If there's any question, please just post your question and we'll get back to you. And as well, if